AI-powered business intelligence, and conversational analytics hold immense promise for data-driven decision-making. However, directly applying these technologies to complex enterprise schemas often leads to inaccurate or inconsistent results, commonly referred to as hallucinations. This challenge arises because AI and BI systems may struggle to interpret raw data without a clear understanding of the organizational context and definitions. Snowflake addresses these challenges by introducing semantic views, a new schema-level object that stores all semantic model information natively within the database. Semantic views capture and store semantic model information directly within the database, including business-relevant concepts such as metrics, for example, total sales, dimensions, which could include product category, and also facts. So if all of this sounds like fun, let's dive in. I'm going to use a getting started workbook here, a notebook that uh, is also part of our quick start, which is gonna be available when we launch at Summit. Uh, so let's open up this notebook. And this is just gonna walk me through the process of getting my sample data ready, creating my semantic view, and then we're gonna query it a few different ways. So let's, let's start by just creating my sample data database. Um, in my, in my schema where I'm gonna store my data. I'm gonna use the TPC at, TPCDS data. So here we're just gonna create some views. Um, these views directly reference the data that's part of the Snowflake sample data schema that ships with every Snowflake instance um, on top of TPCDS. And let's just make sure I have my base schema objects that I'm gonna build my view on top of. So this is a traditional star schema. I've got my store sales fact table, and then I've got a bunch of dimension tables, customer, demographics, date, item and store so these are ready to go and now let's define a semantic view this is where we get into the actual demo we're going to use the new ddl for create or replace semantic view this is the name tpcds semantic view and let's just walk through step by step the first thing that you articulate in your semantic model semantic view are the base objects tables or views uh, are the two things that you can reference here you can also reference dynamic tables so i've got customer date demo et cetera, these, if you're every relationship, so right now in semantic models are going to be many to one, many on the left side, one on the right side. Uh, and so all of your right side objects should have a primary key. So customer has a primary key, date has a primary key, et cetera. And then we're gonna define relationships. So how does store sales relate to customer? Um, it's got the surrogate key in the store sales table pointing to that primary key in the customer table and so on. So my fact table has a bunch of references to my dimension table. So I've just defined my base schema. Let's go and uh, define the key attributes that are gonna be queryable by Cortex Analyst and also our semantic SQL. Facts, these are kind of row level things that you might want to count in a metric later or reference uh, somewhere else in your one of your formulas. In this case, I've defined a few facts on the item table because the Although I'm going to want to use these as facts when I calculate metrics later, I want to be able to pull over item cost and item price and attach that to my store sales fact table. So I've created two fact tables there, uh, two facts that I'm going to use later. Uh, dimensions uh, can be uh, references to any column level expression. So here I just have the name of the column, but I could stick in here business logic that has case statements for kind of projecting uh, certain values uh, into certain categories. Um, you can also do things like date functions. I can truncate, I can uh, do a month on a date, for example. Any, any column level expression I can do here. And then my metrics are going to always be aggregate. So I've got some, uh, I could do average, I can do ra ratios of uh, metrics. I've got some simple ones to find here. And then let me just also point out that I've called out synonyms here. Uh, any attribute, fact, metric, or dimension can have a synonym attached to it. And this is gonna help things like Cortex Analyst uh, reason about the data. So I've added to my total sales quantity metric a few synonyms. So let's go and create my semantic view. This is executing that DDL and to prove it, uh, let's go and make sure it exists. Let's do a show. Um, so just like I can show a table or a view, I can show a semantic view. And now we're going to do a describe. I've got a little kind of bonus demo here, which is our new flow operator in SQL. This allows you to take the output of one SQL statement and pass it into a subsequent SQL statement. Sometimes this is called a pipe. 
So I'm piping the output of my describe. And what I want to take from that output is I want to select only these three columns uh, and I want to filter it. I only want uh, rows that are metrics, dimensions, um, and uh, the property is, is a table. So what does this allow me to do? This is unrelated to semantic views, but it's a really nice use of the flow operator. Uh, if you've worked with uh, show and describe and kind of our metadata operations, you know you can't filter the results. Well, now with the flow operator, you can do it. So let's execute this. And uh, so I can now have like a nice, easy, easily readable list of all my objects, which are dimensions and metrics only. Uh, and I can look at, here's all the different names. So there's all the dimensions um, and there's all the metrics. Now it's time to talk to my semantic view. Let's do it first with Cortex Analyst. Got a nice little um, thing here that uh, generates a dynamic URL so you can get a button that takes you to Cortex Analyst. Um, so let's, let's go and we're gonna ask this question. Top selling brands by total sales quantity. Let's pop on over to Cortex Analyst. Uh, and here you can see the same semantic model that I defined via DDL is now available in Cortex Analyst. So that's that TPCDS semantic view. If I go down and, for example, look at the fact, the metrics that I had on store sales, you'll see total sales quantity. Uh, you can see those synonyms that I provided are, are here as well. Let's see what Cortex Analyst has to say are the top selling brands by total sales quantity in the state of Texas in the books category in 2003. Uh, and we got a rank list, maxi maxi number two with 282,466 total sales. Okay, so up until this point, this is Cortex Analyst using a semantic model to answer a question. Uh, what we just announced in public preview at Summit is also that you can query the same semantic view using SQL and our new uh, clause, select from semantic view. And when I say select from semantic view inside my little parens, the statement is going to want the name of the semantic view, the dimensions that you're interested in querying, the metrics that you want, and you can include a where clause. So let's give this one a shot and, uh, and see what we get back. So I'm asking that exact same question. Show me the top items in the books category in 2003 in Texas. And lo and behold, maxi maxi number two, an exact same match with what we just showed over here in Cortex Analyst. So now whether I'm writing SQL, whether I've got a Streamlit app, whether I've got a BI tool, like partners like Hex or Sigma or Omni, I'm getting the same answer. Now, this is kind of a nice thing. You can now build an interactive app like a Streamlit app or a Python app. So we're going to take this query. We can convert this into a, a Pandas data frame. So if you're using Python, you can make a nice little data-driven app. So there's our results. Let's. Uh, convert this into a little data frame. And now I've got a nice little interactive app so I can look at my data. Again, this is the same result, same data that I'm going to get with Cortex Analyst, benefiting from that same metadata model, uh, but it's all uh, SQL based as well. So we really, customers have really loved this, this idea that I can kind of stick my toes in the water, get up and running on conversational analytics with Cortex Analyst and, and Snowflake Intelligence and the semantics that I'm building to make that work are also working nicely with a traditional SQL interface, Streamlit apps, worksheets, my data science team. So that's it. That's all for our demo. Hopefully it's helpful, helps you get a sense of what we're doing. Again, we walked through in this demo kind of the creation of our sample data. We created a semantic view. Uh, we queried it a few different ways um, in both Cortex Analyst and in SQL. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you found this helpful, please give it a like, subscribe, and also turn on notifications. And as always, happy coding.